I'm going to do a three, two, one. Go. Uh, so uh, our app won in two categories, the AI category and also uh, interactive uh, entertainment. And what we plan on doing with the app is uh, tidying up a few tasks that we didn't quite get to complete uh, that we wanted to finish up here at the hackathon. So we're planning on continuing to work on it, and uh, we're also planning on releasing it on Steam and allowing other people to download and play the app uh, and offer suggestions for how we might make it better. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Our team is uh, from a number of different cities, and none of us knew each other before the hackathon, so it's been a great experience forming a team, and, and uh, we had a really great time. Wow. How, do you have any advice or uh, tips for how students, especially from inner city, can get... Um, get immersed into the immersive media career? Sure. So, you know, one of the great things about the time we're living now is there are a lot of free tutorials available on YouTube and a lot of blog sites that offer technical uh, help and tutorials. Um, also, the companies that are making the software, so companies like Unity, uh, for example, are, are offering a lot of free tutorials and information, and also a lot of them have uh, meetups uh, where you can go and listen to talks or get help from people who work at those companies. Um, and with those resources, you can actually learn quite a bit. Uh, even if you don't know anything about programming, uh, you can jump right in and start working with an easy demo and uh, work your way uh, into more technical uh, details from there. So without you know, having access to um, a big budget or a lot of equipment, you can actually do quite a bit. Wow. So in a perfect world, what kind of impact would you want to have um, as a result of your producing this product? Um, well, I think that with this project, one of the great things is it allows people who are geographically in different areas to uh, work on a seat together. So there's definitely a component of, of bringing people together in that way. Um, you could also imagine a lot of educational applications for this type of technology. So with the voice recognition, especially, uh, you could do quite a bit with that for things like training or um, helping uh, reenact historical scenes. For example, if you wanted to um, learn about a particular important event, you could reenact it with friends or classmates, and you're definitely going to remember the details more if you are acting them out versus reading it in a textbook. Wow. All right. Thank you, Cindy. Look forward to seeing this in, uh, in our classroom. Thanks a lot.